Good morning, everybody. This is Todd with the Daily Forex video. Hope you're having a great day today and uh, things are going well for you. Um, just kind of looking around of what's happening in the, uh, the market here, uh, things have been, you know, continuing to talk about this fiscal cliff and, you know, a lot of things have um have that kind of in the background right now so we're seeing a lot of uh volatility in that range um the gold and oil and all that is you know pretty flat as of late the uh, the pre-market uh dow is up slightly up a little bit today um and so at some point we're going to see the markets uh get past this and start to see a little more deliberate movements. Just wanted to uh, continue on with what we talked about yesterday in the uh, with the idea of the um, trends that are happening. And this is the daily chart. This happens to be the US CAD. And one thing that uh, you can do with this to kind of get a, an idea of the trend direction is you can always add into here, you know, different indicators that, that might help you with the direction that things are going and and one of the things is an envelope and I'm just going to uh, to put up here um, uh, we'll do a 50 period envelope and you can see that it gives you actually let's do this let's go to a 40 period and let's spread out the deviation here a little bit and you can kind of see how this can give us an idea of the direction that things are going. And so if the channel's moving down, we're trending down. If it's moving up, we're trending up. Again, just another tool that can help us with identification of, of the direction that things are going in. Uh, looking at this, we can see that, uh, in fact, let me just put on here a regular simple moving average of 40. And you can kind of see, let's double check this, make this a simple, there we go. And you can see how this just kind of goes above and below that 40 period. So this is the envelope with a half percent deviation from that. Um, so right now the US CAD looks like it's still channeling up here. So the trend would be moving higher. The momentum is moving higher. Ideally to enter into this using the simple trading method, we're going to just go ahead and take a trade um, when it pulls back to support. And you can see it pulled back here a little while ago and now starting to, uh, to move up from that. Uh, if we move on to the US Japanese yen, well, you can see the difference in how choppy this is. You know, we, we are having a, a little bit of a move uh, today, real a strong move. I mean, that's almost 100 pips here that this has moved up. Um, channels moving up. We did pull back to the, you know, some support here. We would have actually entered in today as this moved above the highest high of the last three. Pound dollar. A little bit of a downtrend. You can see that the channel is moving down. The 40 period is heading lower. We're below it. But again, before we would be too excited about taking a trade in this, we would want to see it pull back up towards some type of a resistance point and then get in as it moves down below the LL3. U.S. Swiss franc. You know, uptrend. It's starting to pull back here a little bit. So if we can get it back to some support, um, we can look to enter into that as it moves above the highest high of the last three. This one's a little bit tricky, the Aussie dollar. It's been moving up, but really not in a strong trend. And you can see the flatness of the moving average in this channel is just kind of moving sideways. Um, so a little less momentum happening here, which that momentum is what we want to see to carry us through to the next level. Euro dollar, pretty big drop off here. You can see that we moved down from this point to here, you know, almost 500 pips. And uh, it's, you know, trying to move up here a little bit today. So we'll see if we can move back up to resistance and then look for an entry uh, to go short as it begins to move down below the lowest low of the last three. 
Now, I've got this on a daily chart. We could certainly go down to an hourly chart. The difference is, is that you would need to change the envelopes because the envelopes will seem a lot wider here. If we go down to the five minute, you won't even see it unless you really go out. So um, take some time to review the trends. Make sure you understand what's going on with that. And if you have questions, feel free to let me know. Um, other than that, have a great day. Um, keep uh, your risk under control, and we'll be back to um, talk about things tomorrow. Thanks.